can't believe I finally get to house at my aunt's lovely home. This place is full of awesome responsibilities that I will totally take care of. It's a house, Rain. Don't houses take care of themselves? What do we even need to do? Well, Robo, she didn't say specifically, but we definitely need to care for her cat. Like... cat stuff. Feed it, change the litter box, cat stuff. Can't we just sit back, drink some mango juice and relax? Relax? When there are so many responsibilities? Okay. Okay, Reem. We'll take care of it. I guess. And of course her beloved date palms. She planted those last year and can't wait until they start to produce dates in just a few years. I would love it if they started to produce dates while I was house-sitting. I could make date pudding for her by the time she got home. And she would be so happy. You weren't kidding. She really does love those date palms. There's a note on her calendar that next month she's entering them into a date palm competition. Well, Robo, we'll do everything we can to get these trees growing. Oh no! A cat! It's not allowed to be outside. I'll be back. This cat made me chase it all over the neighborhood. Did you enjoy seeing the neighborhood? No more leaving the door open. This cat is staying indoors for the rest of its life. until the date palm competition, Ring. The date palm? Oh no! I haven't checked on it in two weeks! This is awful, Robo! We need to nurse it back to health! Why did that happen? Because it needed light! Ream, do you want me to get a flashlight? Maybe more light will revive it. The plant needs sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. And then it could go through the process of photosynthesis. Carbon dioxide? Do you want to breathe on the plant? I thought carbon dioxide was one of the gases that humans exhale. It is, but it's also naturally in the air. Good. That would have been a pain if you had to breathe on it all day. So how does it get the carbon dioxide? Take a close look at this leaf, Robo. Plants have small openings in the leaf where the carbon dioxide enters. One is called stoma. Many are called stomata. Now that it's out of the shade, it has access to the sun. It gets carbon dioxide through the stomata, and it gets water through its roots. So it has all of the ingredients? Each plant cell has parts within it, called organelles. Each organelle has a different job. One of the organelles, the chloroplast, uses the green chemical chlorophyll to capture the solar energy striking it. That's why plants have green leaves. Water and carbon dioxide enter a chloroplast and uses the solar energy captured by the chlorophyll to make glucose, with oxygen as a byproduct. We call that photosynthesis. I bet the oxygen gas leaves the leaf through the stomata. That makes perfect sense. The same oxygen that you humans breathe? Yes, Robo. The oxygen produced by plants helps replace the oxygen that animals, including humans, use up by breathing. Now that the plant has access to all of the ingredients it needs, it looks like we can just sit back, grab a glass of mango juice, and let photosynthesis do its job. Mm -hmm. 